against Western Suburbs on Sunday. Robert Hurst was at the Canterbury Bankstown Leagues Club to talk to coach Ted Glossop before the meeting opened. Well, Canterbury have had a very bad run with injuries this season, losing many of their key players for many of the vital matches. And unfortunately for them, this weekend is no exception. In the sudden death final against Western Suburbs, they lose many of their key players. Mark Hughes, Jeff Robinson and John Coveney are all out, and there's a big, very big question mark over the fitness of Gary Hughes. Ted Glossop, how fit is Gary Hughes? What are the chances of him playing? Well, Gary is in the side at this stage. Uh, we'll be training tonight and again on Saturday, and I'm prepared to leave Gary Hughes' fitness until the very last moment. He's a key player for us. How important, in fact, is it that he does play for your chances? Well, we, we can improvise. We've, we've brought players in throughout the season, but Gary Hughes for the Canterbury back line is, is a must uh, if we're going to put our or organised game together. But if Gary is not 100% fit, there's no way he'll be taking the field and Chris Mortimer will take his place. And if Chris is in the side, um, I'm quite confident we can beat Western Suburbs on Sunday. Why are you so confident? Well, we've played West twice this year, and although I'm a great believer in what happened in the past has no bearing on the future, uh, we handled Western Suburbs' power in the forwards. They, they rely a lot on force in their forwards, but they do have backs to, to move the ball when the opportunity arises, and on each occasion we've held them in the forwards and we've finished on top of them in the backs. And obviously on Sunday you'll be hoping to do exactly the same thing? Yes, exactly. Well, we're told that... Lady and didn't do Western Suburbs? chances any good at all and we were we weren't overconfident but we knew what we had to do and our, our main game was go out there and, and do that. Yeah, you're certainly uh, heavily outweighed in the forwards. What actually were Glossop's instructions to you? Well Ted said to us you know we were going to play the game in in 10 minute in 10 minute spells and our our main aim was to go out there in the first 10 minutes get our defence in order and from that you know we were hoping that uh, the rest of the game would follow on, we'd maybe get breaks later, but you know, the defence was the main thing. Yeah, well, you certainly followed his instructions, didn't you? You toppled the tackle count. Yeah, well, you know, that's a team effort, so that's all that counts. You're rather diminutive for a, for a lock forward. Is that your favourite position? Well, I played most of my juniors at 5'8", but since coming to grade, I've played a fair bit of football at lock. And, you know, lately in the second row, but I think I'd prefer lock at the moment. And while Canterbury left the SCG in high spirits, West's bowed out of the competition rather ingloriously. A disappointment.